It sounds like Kendrick Lamar is trying to end Drake. Wait, <laughs> where do you get that? Wait, from? okay. Not but off. Hold on, y'all. Off of like. Uh -huh. No, not off of like that. Where do you get that from? What do you mean? Where do we get? Because I don't. Th I feel like Help Kendrick me, barely. You, do you, you know. You know about the. You know about the beef with them over the years. I'm confused. It's, no, no, no. But I, I feel like compared that. to push ups. What do you mean you don't like it? It's Kendrick, all the Kendrick barely said anything on like that compared to what Drake is saying on push ups. Like that's my problem, yo. I'm I, Alex. I don't like that. Is 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 around here? It's a part of it. Okay. When you think about the history between the two of these people, or the three of these people, we'll, we'll say the two of them because we're talking about Kendrick and Cole. Uh -huh. I mean, Kendrick Kenny and Drake. And Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, since Control, it's been rumored that Drake didn't like the Control shit. He was speaking greasy about him in mm -hmm. interviews after that, right? Never mentioned to him to be a part of the big mm -hmm. three. Like, this is not a new thing here. You know, you see where I'm getting at? So mm -hmm. if this is not a new thing here, there's plenty of facets here. But it's, like, what has Kendrick done to like end Drake? Yeah. All right, I got to go back to why I'm unimpressed. This goes back. Me, it's funny Justice here. We was talking about this a little bit, right? Okay. You got a Compton blood who's educated. Okay. No disrespect. You got a... Man, he called Drake oh, And then you got a... Dumb. Just, just listen to what I'm getting. Just listen to where I'm getting at. You got a biracial kid, and that's not a problem. I'm just saying, when in, in rap and in, in diss track and all that shit, right? Things they could point at. I think this is going to come down to who's the more knowledgeable person. Not from, yo, how much dirt. <laughs> Can I get on you? This nigga made a whole album, The Pimp a Butterfly, around what was going on with black people, right? And how important the messages were on the album, right? Mm -hmm. We spoke about it and all of that. When you get a nigga that can think like that on a rap level, respect the Drake. I love all his slaps. The R&B joints, I love it. When you talk about women, I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I wanna run now. I love it. <laughs> I love all that shit. I got no issues with Drake, okay. right? And I accept Drake for who he is. Yeah. He's an amazing artist. <laughs> He's an amazing song maker. You, you cannot deny when his slaps come on. Yeah. When you're dealing with a motherfucker that is interested in knowledge and is not afraid mm -hmm. to touch subjects around race. Politics. Who is not afraid to touch subjects around politics. Mm -hmm. What do you think his solo diss is going to sound like? And, and hey, y'all, uh, I could be wrong. Again, I'm not a, Drick, uh, a, a Kendrick D. Rod or nothing like that. I could be wrong. But what I do know is his catalog and his history and where he's taking it. Mm -hmm. I ain't heard Drake get conscious, and that's not a problem. But we saw what Pusha T did, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't the club record diss. No. It was the, I'm very knowledgeable. I'm very intelligent. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick at pieces personally at you that's really going to eat at you in hindsight. Mm -hmm. And that's all Kendrick has shown us over the years. So for me, it was like, all right, cool. Like the seven size shoe. How do you think Kendrick heard that? Do you, you, you think Kendrick took that the same way we took like, that? We were, that's my point. Okay, like, my, okay. That's you, my point. Okay, you kind of ate my point up a little bit, not going to lie. Kendrick probably heard that. Kendrick probably <laughs> no, heard because, that. Seven shoes. Yeah, because okay. like, Drake has never <laughs> been Ever. like, really drop some like knowledge but on this. I don't, there's never there's no problem that. with that. Right? No, but like in the in <laughs> in this little back and forth, I enjoy the little stupid little jabs that he did on push ups. Me too. I thought it was fun. I think it was I thought fun. It, like the size of a man's like I really I chuckled yeah. a lot. I, I don't think yeah. you need like But I I see what you're saying. Alex. You see what I'm, like, see what I'm getting in at? the grand scheme of things, just like, the, the range, yeah, yeah, the yeah. content that like, Kendrick he's not isn't really, afraid like, to touch. These little ass like seven okay, size, okay. seven size shoe. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. But I think when 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 Drake says things like that, it's to kind of counteract exactly what Kendrick did, which is just send a jab. Like I don't believe Drake said those things to actually hurt Kendrick. I don't think he did that to like have Kendrick staying up in the studio late at night like, oh shit, I got to respond. I think he said it so we would all know like, yeah, nigga, I'm shooting back at him. That's, like, my, that's my point though. You get like, so, because even when Kendrick is talking about for all the dogs and mentioning Goofy and but, saying things like, it's very surface level shit. So I think Drake is just matching that energy. But Drake, I don't think yeah. he did any of that to be like, oh, I'm trying to be cerebral man by that's saying you got problem. little feet, midget but, man. But like that's the problem. Because I think he's going to become cerebral, Kendrick, right? Like, Drake, I don't need you to tell us <laughs> that you're responding. We appreciate it. I get that they try to, they try to play with his name yeah. when it comes to, mm -hmm. you know, writing lyrics and stuff like that or his pen or whatever. We know he got a pen. We know he could spit. This is not one of these occurrences where you need to worry about us in the equation. Hence why I started- I disagree. I'm listening. Because like public opinion? Why is, is that? Because, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish real quick. Kendrick is not active on social media. He doesn't do the trolling that a Rick Ross or even a Drake would do, mm -hmm. right? So you don't got to tell us. We are, people already know. Yeah, People already know you about it. If anything, you know how Kendrick is going to try and get at you. Every time we, we've seen Kendrick pop out on niggas, right? It was his big ass moment, right? 
Control. Like that. Like that is still number one at the time of this recording. Mm -hmm. Nigga, these are impactful records that you got to deal with, bro. Yes, it was a job. Are they impactful? They, they, I just I, said it was number one. Okay, but in, in, a few, in a few years from now, where where does it go? Like control, what? it doesn't. Where, where do you, you listen to control? Does okay, control, control dictate was, anything okay. that, in the moment? It, it's no, a it moment. Wasn't. Kendrick oh, is the to get deep. He's, to get no, deep. he's just he's the moment man. Oh, he makes moments and they they're dope moments because nobody else does it the way he does. But it's just a moment. Like deep. if he didn't reopen that with like that, nobody would even think about control. The reason why control is at the top of our mind right now is true. because Kendrick did something that was reminiscent of control. So now, of course, it's like, oh, shit, that nigga did that shit 10 years ago. I remember when he did that. But nobody's going around putting that as a badge of honor for Kendrick. It was a moment and it passed. Let me ask and you a Drake question. And Drake continued to be who Drake is. Let me ask you a question. Okay. The beef is just starting, right? We're not even in the second round. Sure. For real, right? Mm -hmm. How long do you think this rift between Drake V20 is going to last? Do you think this is something that's going to be amended in a month? Do you think this is something that's going to be amended in a year? No, no. And, I, and, and to yeah. answer your question, that's why that is a moment. Like that is going to stick. Maybe not at the level of a control because he was really coming at everybody, mm -hmm. right? And, and like that was more uh, Kendrick's qualms with the big three conversation. But it's definitely going to stick and stay here for sure. Like, mm -hmm. if this was some shit where it was like, yo, niggas is just rapping for fun. Like, you know, but we still cool behind the scenes. I see what you're saying. It ain't that big of a deal. I don't see this amending at all. If Kendrick is rumored to have a trap mm -hmm. for, for four years, he's been sitting on for four years, right? Quote, unquote, this track is supposed to get at him. It's supposed to try and end Drake. Mm -hmm. What kind of energy you think he's going to come in that next round with? So, though I do like what Drake did on what's, uh, Push Ups, right? Mm -hmm. He had some cool witty shit on there. I fucked with it. I liked it. I think Kendrick is really going to get muddy as fuck. Damn. And now, back to public perception, right? Like that is still number three. I mean, still number one for the third straight week mm -hmm. in America, right? Hmm. Like that. And then if his response to what Drake just responded to gets super muddy, the public perception could be, damn, Kenny came out with like that. Okay, Drake came out with his jab, mm -hmm. which he addressed everybody else and Kendrick. But then Kenny came back with the trying to end this nigga's life. If I was Drake, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going for the jugular. I'm going for the jugular. Mm -hmm. nah. I'm not playing with a nigga like Kendrick, you don't, bro. You don't want to show your hand that, that early in the, in the fight. 